I'm Justine Sandbrook, one of the curators of the Robert L. Wall Photographs Collection here at the ROBA. I'm going to show you some photographs from the collection by one of my favourite photographers, Tony Ray Jones. Tony Ray Jones was generally acknowledged to have been among Britain's finest social documentary photographers, best known for his quirky images of the English at leisure taken in the 1960s. What is less well known, however, is his work for the Architectural Review in 1970, not long before his career was cut tragically short by his death from leukaemia at the age of just 30. In 1969, the editor of the Architectural Review, Hubert de Cronin Hastings, decided to experiment with a new direction for the journal. The review had already done much to shape British architectural photography, beginning with its publication of Dell and Wainwright's dramatically beautiful renditions of modernist buildings in the 1930s, and now it was time to shake up tradition once again. Man Plan was a series of eight themed issues published between September 1969 and September 1970, examining the contemporary state of architecture and town planning. Radically, instead of using work by the magazine's staff photographers, Hastings commissioned leading photojournalists such as Magnum's Ian Berry and Peter Baystow, as well as Tim Street Porter, Tom Smith and Patrick Ward, to provide illustrations on grainy 35mm film for issues critiquing the grimly dystopian world that it was argued architects and town planners had created. These images were totally unlike anything that had been seen in the journal previously. Tony Ray Jones was brought in to work on the issue on housing and produced a series of humane images documenting the realities of life on some of Britain's housing estates. People, for so long banished from the pristine frame of the architectural photograph, became the central focus, real people living real lives. Unfortunately, Man Plan's frank depiction of the success, or lack of success, of contemporary architecture proved unpopular with the Architectural Review's readership Circulation figures dropped and Hastings was forced to abandon the controversial experiment for the sake of the future of the journal. Interestingly, Tony Ray Jones, now acknowledged to have been incredibly influential on future generations of photojournalists, including Magnum photographers Martin Parr and Chris Steele Perkins, was himself refused membership to Magnum on two occasions, the second after a poorly received submission of his man plan photographs. <laughs> 